Good morning, howdy, how you doing? I'm Max Stevens and I buy old records and uh, leaving out on a drizzly, dreary, cold morning. I don't care, it's a good day anyway. Going to go out and look at some records in East Texas. Got a pretty good lead out there. Got to go check it out. If I don't check it out, somebody else will get it or it'll get thrown away or pissed away at a yard sale or something and they might have some good stuff that'll bring them money. And then maybe I'll have some stuff that'll bring me money. I like that too. So uh, we're going to head out, hit the interstate, whoop it out there real fast, and then we're going to check stuff all the way home. Well, all right, all right, all right. I'm off on the secondary road. Going to turn off in just a little bit onto a tertiary road, and we'll probably be in... Uh, wagon tracks or goat trail pretty soon. I hope. I like it when trips turn out that way. Unless I get stuck. Ah, my car lifting days are over. I always like the East Texas piney woods or whatever the hell they call it. I like when it says turn left on unpaved road. <laughs> well, no luck at all there. Had a few 45s and uh, bunch of albums well not that many albums just nothing that I had to have there at that point they said they might have some Elvis Sun records out and around I would hope that to be the case so maybe I'll get a holler from them someday I'm gonna go hit some uh, tried and true places I've been before and uh, we'll see if we can make something of the day well I've got an estate sale I like estate sales sometimes good stuff turns up let's go look Well, no luck in there. That's quite all right. Pretty out this way, isn't it? Gone from uh, big highway to little highway to littler highway now. I'm enjoying this. Nice canopy of trees. Not sure where I'm really going though. I just thought this road looked kind of neat. I'll probably turn it around in a bit, go back to the big highway if I don't see any alleged civilization. And I did. I started hearing banjos and uh, that got me a little feeling funky. So I'm gonna turn it back, but I'm gonna hit some of these side roads that I've really never gone down. Sometimes you'll find a junk store or just some sort of place that might have a record or two hidden there and sometimes I look for other stuff besides records sometimes I'm looking for guitars and amps and all but it's it's 90% of the time records well that was on time warp I don't want time warp so anyway I've been to two places that uh, normally have records they are both closed so that's unusual being a thursday you would think that uh, they'd be wanting to have business but probably something's come up in their lives it's taking precedence over getting me my dang records so i'm going to keep looking so today just might be like uh i don't know just a look see to see if there's anything around because uh there hasn't been so far and that's all right Okay, any port in a storm, I say. I'm going to go hit Antique Mall. It's a, I found a few things here. It's been a while, though, so I don't know. But we're going to check it out and just see what turns up. Maybe nothing. Maybe something incredible. Well, I like it when they play Buddy Holly in the background. It's kind of neat. He put that one out right about the time he died. Not a good luck song, I'd say. Hit the one side. Now we're going to go. I'm going to go hit the other. See what might be in. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, let's go on to the next part. Oh, I have just been missing things. Let's see what's in here. an imperial red label maybe it's some older stuff hiding in here Pax Domino Frankie Lane Peggy Lee no nothing at all kind of a neat old machine there da 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 it's a clean place. It's no mold or vermin, but no records either. I'd settle for the records if it had mold and vermin to have to go through. That's a pretty old true tone there. Little record player from the 50s. Eh, 40 bucks isn't bad. Not anything I'm really needing though. Right, Ray Charles. Imagine having to look through LPs just to see records. Uh, not seeing much of anything. Certainly no 45s or 78s slipped in between. Ah, reissue of some of his. Phillips International stuff. I like Charlie Ridge. One of my best favorite singers. Okay, here's some 78s. More 78s there. A few more here. Sons of the Pioneers. They were popular, but it's not for me. Here's the 78 stuck in between. What's left of a 45 holder? Be some 45 stuff off in here. Nope. I seem to remember 45s being in this booth at some point a long time ago. Found the dollar records probably been through these before, but it looks different. Maybe they've added stuff. Otis Williams and his charms. They had a big hit with, uh, what was it? Hearts of Stone. Influenced a lot of people, including young Elvis Presley that put that into his live show in 1955, probably. Maybe late 54, but I think it was in 55. Little Milton. Somebody's a little Milton fan. I like that. Okay. I guess that's Sinatra in the background. So probably we'll have to edit that sound down. Because I sure don't want YouTube muting my videos. Crew cuts. Okay, we're going to have to go to two-handed in just a moment. One to stop my ears up and the other one to look at records. Well, found a little handful of records, a uh, buck each. Robin Hood Bryans, who was, uh, and still is, 
a local producer, artist. He did some rockabilly, a bunch of psychedelic stuff, 60s pop. Don't know who the Desperados are. It's probably a 70s country record. Wizard and the Oz? No idea. But it's on a 60s label. Let's just check it out. All's good there. Found just a few records, but that gets something in the bucket for me today. I always like to get that first purchase of the day over and done with. So we're going to do a little bit more looking. I think I've got a thrift shop or three to go to. I'll call a little crazy day from Canton, see what he's up to. Maybe he's got some stuff for me. And I'll try to hit every garage sale, etc. Been kind of a rainy time, but I think there'll be some out and around. Well, time to go to the Salvation Army. Been a while since I've been in here. Sometimes they have 45s. I found some good things before. And out the door I went. Oh well. So I'm going to a place that says they have 45 records. It's kind of an indoor flea market, old house full of stuff. I don't know really what it is. I don't think I've been here. If I have, it's been a long time which means they may have records that I haven't gone through, if that's the case. Kind of stands to reason if I've never been through there and they have records, then it means I haven't gone through them. Sometimes I'm master of the bleeding obvious. So uh, let's go on to this place, about another seven or eight miles, I think. I used to look at the gas gauge every now and then. I just realized I'm running on fumes. So uh, I'll pull in, get myself a uh, a little bit of gas, a little snack, another six or eight energy drinks, and then back on my way. I know this is vitally important and exciting, but I document almost every part, except for when I gotta go potty. Well, I see a retail shop here. It says antiques and collectibles, so I'm gonna stop and see what's shaking. Then I'll go back to the place which was my destination. Okay, nothing in there for me, just a handful of 45s. Nothing that looked really interesting, although I'm going to get my phone out and check one. That was by Jerry Reed. You know him from the Burt Reynolds movies. Or you know him from his days at being a uh, rockabilly type. And I'll look this one up real quick. See if it's something I need. Okay, I opted not to get it. It was a bit of a bopper, but... It was in pretty rough shape, and at $5, I don't think I could have gotten 10 for it. So uh, we'll pass that one by, and we'll go to our next place now and see what turns up. All right, I think we've arrived to the next place. Um, yeah, there it is, right up ahead where it says flea market. Kind of obvious. Let's go see if it's any good. I certainly hope it is. a mix of an indoor outdoor flea market. I kind of like that. Howdy. I see, I see nobody home. It's foghorn leghorn would have put it. Well I found a Arkansas record by Teddy Riddell. It's got Midnight Blues on it, which I think was a rocker, maybe. And I've got some uh, 78s to look at here. Two dollar each. Sam Landon's red hair. It's... I think not. Cool. He's on a phone. Maybe. anything in here I think that's it alrighty I've uh, gone to another place it didn't exist 
So, uh, went to the Goodwill here, forgot to turn on the camera, which sometimes I do, and uh, there was nothing there, so, ha ha ha, no harm, no foul, right? Well, I drove by earlier, hoping to catch old sunshine here open. He was closed. Well, it's just because I wasn't here late enough. Now he is open. So let's go see. I doubt he'll have anything since I was here, oh, I don't know, a week and a half ago, two weeks maybe. But we'll see what's shaking, and hopefully he'll have something to look at. Otherwise, I'll just shoot the breeze with him for a few minutes. Brighten up his world. He's got a lot of cool stuff. Here you come. Yep, this is Don. Don, yeah, Don Gray. He's, yeah, we've been talking about you. he's got a record store. We've been talking about you. I bet he has. Back. Howlin' Wolf said, if you ain't talked about, you ain't thought about, and they talks about me all the time. So what are you doing, movies now? I am. I'm doing movies. In fact, I can make you famous. Oh, yeah? You ain't got a casting couch back at... No, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> well, it was good to holler at Don there. Didn't have anything I needed, which is cool. Uh, you know, if you go to some places too often, well, you're not going to run across anything. But it's always good to go there and chew the fat with him. Hasn't been a very productive day. And, you know, I just like to get out in this weather, drive around. It beats sitting at a desk. Let's go look for some more records. I'm always optimistic because stuff is out there. I just have to turn it up. Somebody else might turn it up and I'm insanely jealous for a minute or two. Then I go and find my own stuff. Let's get on Highway 64 and buzz on back towards civilization. Hokey dokey. I've just about made it. Probably to the last stop I'll make today. Maybe I'll do another one. I'm gonna go over here and see Eddie's store here in Ben Wheeler. He's always got stuff. Nice folks too, I like them. I'll see them at the record show too coming up in a few days. Back in Eddie's shop without Eddie. It's time to open up the old briefcase and trench coat and load everything I can in my pockets. No, he would probably shoot at me. Good, I see. I see the box for me. Let's see. And you're saying something about... Oh, good. Some 78s, too. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, man. Thank you. Oh, man. Tons of stuff. Good. I've been out today. Hadn't found a whole lot of anything, but... I have to play some of these. Oh, I brought my player. Good. I don't know what that is. That one. Me, I'll play these and see what they be. <laughs> Had a Louisiana Boogie by Harry Schultz on Gold Star, 78. You almost killed my soul by Billy Briggs and his XIT boys. That's a neat, uh, I believe that's a Texas label. So, uh, no, it's from Clinton, Oklahoma. Cool. That's even better. So I found a couple right at the last minute that, well, it makes me feel better about the day. It's been a, a little productive day. But, unless I stop somewhere else, that'll be it. And keep your powder dry. We'll catch up with y'all later.